Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make Mississippi pork chops. This is an adapted version of Mississippi pot roast. It's going to be very delicious. So come on down here. We're going to get started. As always, anytime I put any kind of meat in the crock pot, I'm going to sear it up first. Give it a nice color, nice flavor. First thing we're going to do is season our pork chops. I'm going to go across the top of them with salt, black pepper, give it some flavor. It's all going to cook into those pork chops. Garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Now what we're going to do is get our pan going. I'm just using a large skillet. We're going to place it over medium high heat. We're going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil to our pan and get that nice and hot. We've got a lot of pork chops going in. I'm using about two and a half pounds of pork chops. These are center cut. They're pretty thick and we're going to place these into our pan, season side down. And you want to get that sizzle going. Ah, uh, you hear that? What you want. All right, we're going to be cooking up five of them. We're going to season this side. Salt, black pepper, I'm just going across the top with it, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Now we're going to brown these pork chops on that side for about two minutes to get a nice sear on them. Oh yeah, look at that. We're not looking to cook these, we're just looking to give them a nice color and lock in those seasonings. Look at that. We're going to give these another two to three minutes. Place them in our crock pot. We're going to spray the inside of our crock pot. I'm using a six quart oval. We're just going to spray it. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's go ahead and put these in our crock pot. Alright, we're going to try to get them all on the bottom. It's okay if they don't all get down there. You can layer them. Depends on how many you're doing. There we go. We're going to deglaze our pan with one cup of chicken broth. It's all flavor in there. I'm just going to stir as I pour it in. And then just move those little bits and seasonings into the chicken broth. It should only take about 30 seconds. Then we're going to turn off a burner and we're going to add this to the pork chops. It's all flavor. The next thing we're going to add is some ranch seasoning mix. Now you can use one packet, which is one ounce, or you can go in and make your own homemade blend, which I like to do. I'm getting really close to the end here. I'll have to remake it. But it's, you know, you can control what you put into your own seasoning mix. And if you're making your own homemade, you'd put two tablespoons equals one ounce into our crock pot here on top of the pork chops. All right, that was one. All right, that's what it looks like right here. Try to evenly spread it around. It's all gonna melt together anyway. Then we're gonna take some brown gravy mix. I like to make my own homemade now. You can control the salt and everything in this and your flavor. So, or you can use one packet of brown gravy mix that you can get from your store. Now I'm gonna go in with a quarter cup 
there's more in brown gravy mix than the packets of uh, ranch dressing. There we go. I'm gonna sprinkle that around. Now both of these, the ranch seasoning and the brown gravy mix, can be found on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. Now the next thing going in, we're going to put some pats of butter all across our seasoning blends. Just make sure your butter is nice and solid, just pull it right out of the refrigerator, cut pats. All right, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it all over our dry mixes. Just make sure you evenly place it around. It'll melt into all those dry mixes and blend with the sauce in there. All right, let's got one more right there. We're gonna take some pepperoncinis and we're gonna place a few around. Now, if you want more heat in your dish, you can definitely add some of the juice from here also. So a little bit of juice. I think that's good right there. And I'm gonna pop some of these in. You can always pull them out afterwards, just adds a nice flavor. You can chop these up too if you want, if you like a lot of heat in there. And one right there. Two, four, five, we'll put one more in there. You know who will be happy with this dish. <laughs> We're ready to place the lid on. We're gonna cook this on high for three to five hours, or you can cook it on low between five to seven hours. Now it all depends on the thickness of your pork chop also, or if you're using pork chop with the bone in it, okay? So just make sure that you put a fork in it, twist it, and make sure that it is very tender and falls apart. One of my friends, Tanya, had made a pork chops recipe in the crock pot and she showed me her recipe. And it is very similar to ingredients that you would find in Mississippi pot roast. So I adapted it a little bit towards that and took the Creole out of it. <laughs> Our pork chops just came out of the crock pot and look how tender those look. Now I've made a thing of noodles drained them and then just place them on a dish to place my pork chops on top because that's how I'm going to serve them. Now look at this delicious gravy that I'm going to pour all over these pork chops. That came directly out of the crock pot. No thickening needed as that gravy was thick enough. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to take a bite. Mmm. All right. Comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when recipes like this one here are posted. Y'all, look at how tender this is. I'm not kidding. You can cut this with a fork. Don't forget that delicious gravy.